Hi, in this tutorial we will learn how to install Ubuntu 15.04 in VirtualBox. So we are having this VirtualBox installed and now we want to install Ubuntu in, on it. So first of all you need to have the Ubuntu image and once you have it uh, you just have to go and uh, go to your VirtualBox and click on new which is on the top left side and then you have to enter the name of your Ubuntu instance so we are keeping Ubuntu 1.5 and then you have to select the bytes, uh, bits so we have 64 bit image of Ubuntu so we will be choosing 64 bit and then cl click on continue so once you have done that it will ask for the memory allocation so allocate uh, minimum 512 and if you want to really use it then keep it 1 GB around 1 GB it all depends on the kind of resources you have on your laptop so, or PC if you have 4 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM then 1 GB 2 GB for virtual virtualized instance of Ubuntu is pretty decent and it gives you really good performance so you can increase or decrease the memory allocation later on as well so for the starters just have 1.21 1 GB so click on continue so memory allocation really empowers your operating system so whenever you are having large memory allocated to any operating system then performance will increase in the in the sense that lots of simultaneously applications can be opened so which is really important for any user because whenever you are playing music you may want to work along with that so it really helps when you have a lot of RAM allocated to your operating system then click on continue so you have to select uh, create a virtual hard drive so it will be of the format VDI which is the standard virtual box type so choose from VDI and then click on continue so what is dynamically allocated so let's say you are allocating 40 gigs to it and it is currently using 20 gigs the instance the Ubuntu instance so it will not consume 40 at once it will consume 20 and as the size of the instance of Ubuntu will increase the size occupied by your instance on hard drive will also increase so it is not taking 40 gigs which you allocated at once but as the demand will increase so will the allocation increase will increase so click on continue if you are choosing fixed then it will take 40 gigs from your hard disk at once so that's not really an ideal way to do that so now click on continue and now we can see we have the option of allocating hard disk space to your Ubuntu instance the same thing applies to every operating system when you are whenever you are trying to create a virtual image a virtual instance of any operating system so right now we are allocating certain disk space to your virtual box instance of Ubuntu you can choose the name of your files that virtual drive and you can also set the directory of it so if in case you want to properly allocate a space to it then it's a good way to do that So once you have created your VDI file, all you have to do is double click on this 
newly created instance of Ubuntu you will see this kind of window which which will start the installation process of Ubuntu now it is asking for the location of the image file of your Ubuntu or the operating system so locate that particular image file and once you have done that click on start so after doing that it will start the process of installation of Ubuntu now you will start seeing the process of installation so this is how it looks like a black screen for the starters and we will see start seeing some random characters and this is how the processing is initiated the processing is going on and the installation setup is is being readied so in a few seconds we will see it so this is how the screen of installation looks like so it will present you with with different option uh, first is to try the Ubuntu and second is to actually install the Ubuntu it is loading since we are using VirtualBox and uh, RAM allocated is really low so it has some performance issue but if you are having decent processor and decent memory then it will be very fast so now we will be installing Ubuntu because we have already tried Ubuntu and it really works well and now you, you can choose the optional options so we can do that later on so let's just click on continue and start installing Ubuntu See, since you are just starting up we will reduce the complexity to a minimum so just choose the first option which is to erase disk and install Ubuntu so you don't have to think about anything no partitions nothing just install in a very standard way so just choose the first option and then click on install and after that you have to choose the country you belong to so since we are from India we are selecting India so if you are from let's say France then choose France then select the keyboard layout so you must be aware of the keyboard layout which you use in your country so choose the one which is right for you if you are from America or you use very standard English keyboard then English US will work perfectly then enter the username and password and machine name of your system so they don't need to be same the username and the machine name so keep them different choose the strong password so try to include a mix of capital letters, numbers, special characters and normal characters so it should be really strong the password should be really strong so that no one will be able to crack your machine's password which may contain sensitive data so to protect that from getting hacked or cracked you have to ensure that you are choosing strong password and once you have done that the installation process will initiate interestingly the installation process is really nice way to to get no more about Ubuntu because you will see lots of data uh, or details about Ubuntu is shown during the installation process so just keep an eye on them and try to read them or try to listen to listen to some great music while the installation process is going on because it will take a while about 20-30 minutes or 10-20 minutes if it is a virtual box if you have connected your computer with internet during, during the installation process then it will try to download packages from internet so after completion of the installation process 
it will ask for restarting the machine so just click on restart now so after the successful installation of your ubuntu just try to ins just try to remove the original image of ubuntu from its original location to some new location so that your virtual box won't be able to find it and once you have done that and your instance of ubuntu is like this this is how it will look for the first time thank you for watching the tutorial Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button for receiving more updates from Being Skilled.